Good afternoon guys, Mike here with Wilderness Warriors and Woodsman's Gear on YouTube. I've got a uh, new product to add to my uh, hammock camping setup today. I picked up a uh, Franke style bottom entry bug net from uh, DutchWearGear.com. Uh, I forget what the price was on these things. I think it's like 58 bucks, uh, 60 bucks, somewhere right in there. But it is a full bug net that encompasses the entire hammock. Uh, and instead of having any zippers, uh, on the hammock itself it doesn't attach to it uh, the hammock threads through uh, the ends of the bug net and then there's one large opening underneath that you get uh, into and out of your hammock and it has a cinch cord that you can cinch down uh, the thing comes in contact with the bottom of your hammock um, and makes the seal there and then it has uh, hooks that attach uh, to your suspension uh, loops at the ends of your hammock and then it has uh, a cinching uh, loop system that tightens down uh, so the bugs can't get in the end So initially I had put this on there and I'd actually put it on backwards uh, From the way that I want it and I'll show you that in just a second, but I'm going to switch this thing around and Gather it all up And I'm going to unhook my hammock Spin it around, stick my hook back through, and reconnect my hammock. So all in all, not too bad to uh, put it together on the hammock. And I'm going to thread this end over my stuff sack and over the body of my hammock. Pull that down. And then this end here, let me bring in closer so you can see. And so this in here, like this black that you see is my stuff sack. I actually just cinch it down and leave it uh, on my hammock. So pull that back up and out of the way. So right here is where it cinches my continuous loop cinched in my hammock. Uh, and then I've got my two pieces of AM steel that come out from my loop. You have your mitten hook and all you do is take it and snap it to one. And then I want to keep everything in the stuff sack inside. And then you've got the grow grain uh, sewn here and you have your loop of your uh, bungee cord elastic cord in it and you just cinch it down and then you have a little cord lock and so that keeps that in tight I'm going to go down here and pretty much do the same thing over the entire hammock clip the mitten hook and cinch the end all right so I had already had this thing set up once and had noticed I really hadn't paid attention to it uh, just in my hand um, but on the bottom cinch on this there's only one uh, cord lock and so in general you would want the cord lock on the side of the hammock uh, that you actually are going to be getting in and out of just for ease of use so you can just reach out if you wanted to open it up and open it up uh, what I have found is that you can cinch this thing down uh, fairly small to where it's going to come in contact with the hammock and you can just stretch it over you and hop in your hammock and 
and so your ridge line for your hammock is inside the bug net it holds it up in the middle no need to add anything else um, the wind will blow it in a little bit just because there is extra a little extra fabric if you wanted to make it as taut as possible you just cinch that down as much as possible and that's gonna keep it a little bit more taut um, again that's gonna change the amount that you cinch it down is gonna change with whatever insulation setup you have on your hammock if you're running a thick fluffy under quilt then uh, you're gonna not cinch it down as much uh, you just want it to come in contact with the bottom to form the seal on it you don't want it to compress uh, your loft of whatever under quilt that you're using So that is it. That is the Franke style bottom entry bug net. Uh, you can get those at uh, Dutch's site, DutchwareGear.com. And uh, eventually I hope to be making some of these for sale as well. It's a very simple design. Um, nothing but net and uh, a little bit of grow green and some uh, elastic cord and a couple of hooks and cord locks. So very simple, goes on the outside. If, uh, if you don't want to use it as it gets more into uh, winter camping, um, at least uh, where I'm at in the south, we generally don't have a whole lot of bug issues in the winter. I would imagine it's pretty much the same way up north as well. Uh, once it really starts to cool off, you can kind of get rid of the bug net. But uh, down here in the uh, spring, summer, and uh, early fall, uh, it is a, a must or you will get eaten alive by our wonderful mosquitoes. So there you have it. Again, I think they're around $57, $58 and uh, fairly lightweight. They're not as compactable. Uh, one thing that I did find is that if you do want to leave it on your hammock uh, and then stow everything away, you're going to need a larger stuff sack for your hammock because uh, it will not fit in the standard stuff sack uh, that comes with the Dutch hammocks that I found anyway. I haven't added anything to this hammock. It is a 11 footer uh, in the 1.6 hexon. So standard uh, hammock and it just is too much to, to stuff in there so what i did um, was actually had you can see hanging up there um, i have quite a few of the uh, costco down quilts that i'm doing some under quilt projects and uh, i had a spare where i'd doubled up a quilt and and have many others i had a few of the spare stuff sacks so i just grabbed one of those stuff sacks it's uh, super lightweight and i just stuffed the net in it and uh, we'll probably wind up leaving it off my hammock um, for the most part and then putting it on as I'm setting up so no big deal there you go thanks for watching guys